Hi, I want to honor you for being here. Thank you so much for your dedication to learning more about equine anatomy and the horse's natural biomechanics. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the grazing of the horse helps his posture. Now, the posture of the horse is extremely important because that's where the foundational muscles of all your riding be become, start to become developed properly. And posture is not a static uh, position only. It has to do with every part of your horse's movement. It is very involved in how well your horse carries himself or herself and how well the horse is able to perform the movements you are seeking to, to uh, carry out with your horse. So the horse's posture begins in the grazing um, position. Because grazing is the most natural position for the horse, he spends the majority of his life grazing. That's what the natural horse, the wild horse, would do. And um, there's the, the amount of time compared to grazing um, with maybe sparring or, or playing or running around is very minimal. So the horse is built to graze and, and we see many benefits to the grazing posture of the horse, not only muscularly, but also uh, physically, so health-wise. Uh, the horse's respiratory is improved, um, it increases saliva, it, in, it promotes chewing when the horse has his head down. But mainly in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the development of the posture muscles when the horse is allowed to graze. Now, grazing, it is important to realize that grazing is not a substitute for proper uh, training and proper muscular development. What it is, is a great preparatory um, activity for a horse to be able to start out in a good place. So for instance, if you're starting out with a horse you, you, that you um, know has been able, has had access, the majority of his life has had access to grazing pasture, or you're able to provide that for your horse, then your horse is going to be starting out in a better physical um, state than a horse who has been stabled and perhaps that eats out of a, a feeder and has his back dropped for the majority of the time. So these little details are extremely important and they really affect the, the, um, the success of your horse and if you are aware of these um, necessities within your horse's life you can um, make necessary adjustments and for your horse's um, daily activities. If, for instance, like I mentioned, the, the eating. So if you're providing food off the ground, you wanna make sure that that's not any higher than the horse's chest, or it's not in position that's causing the horse to twerk his neck or drop his back, because all of that is contributing to the muscular development of the horse, because when, we, when muscles repeat an action, over and over again, they build up strength and memory for that action, for that posture, for that position. So what happens when the horse is grazing is that the, the muscles of the core, just in, from the fact that the horse puts his head down, we know this, there are many, many studies that have been done, veterinary studies, scientific studies, um, they've been done in the UK, here in the US, numerous uh, associations have carried these studies out on the locomotion biomechanics and specifically equine posture. And what happens is when the horse puts the head down, just from the mechanisms of the body, the nuchal ligament and the supraspinous ligament acting together causes the barrel to lift up and the back to lift up. And what's happening in that position or in that posture, the vertebra are opening up. And so this is a very comfortable sensation or very comfortable posture for the horse. And it's a great place to start your horse for further development under saddle. 